Yeah, I mean, they, uh, you know, they played hard, and um, that's kind of what we expected. And uh, the goalie hung in there pretty well. And, um, you know, I just I think just shift by shift, just trying to kind of wear them down and, you know, trying to capitalize on some of our opportunities. I thought Camper's line was unbelievable for us tonight. Obviously, uh, you know, we started with two goals, but I thought they drove play uh, and just did a great job for us tonight. And, um, you know, Waller as well was uh, really solid in there, too. So. Zach's talked about being a lot more comfortable in the last little stretch. What have you seen from his game? Has he elevated for you guys down the stretch here? I mean, he's just uh, he's just doing you know what makes him successful. He's physical on the puck. He's really hard on um, you know 50-50 battles. So I, th I feel like a lot of times he he comes out with the puck, and um, you know, I th just think his will and determination in those kinds of settings. And um, he's just a hard player to play against. So um, you know, it's been a lot of fun to watch, and um, just the way he's been playing. I mean, that's uh, you know that's what you need from all all 20, 20 guys. And um, you know, no matter how much you play or where you are in the lineup, obviously uh, he gives a full effort every single night, and that's obviously what you love. To see. What do you, what sticks out most to you about Joel Wall and what do you think of his ability to pick up some slack now here with Matt injured? Yeah, I mean he's been great. I've uh, I've known Joel since our, our junior days and um, you know I think he's just really come into his own and uh, ever since he's been here, I think he's just uh, matured and, and kind of just grown into uh, his own uh, his own self, and uh, he looks confident in there. And obviously, uh, he's had a really good year down at, at the Marlies. And uh, every time that uh, you know he's been up with us, he's he's given us a chance to win. So I mean, that's all you can ask for. You've played with Bunting, you've played with John Crook now, both of them on that line. Like, what's the feel like there? Yeah, I mean it's uh, it's good. I thought uh, we had some good moments tonight, and obviously uh, you know maybe some not so good moments. But um, you know I'm comfortable playing with both those guys, and now I've been kind of playing with Yarny consistently. So um, you know it's been good. I think uh, you know we had some, like I said, had some good good chances tonight, and uh, you know, obviously a couple shifts that you probably like back. But um, you know I think that's just uh, how the game works a lot of the nights. You know you didn't score on that power play, but it felt like a shooting gallery there right off the hop. What was like the mindset going into that last man event? Uh, just shoot it, uh, see what happens, and uh, you know, I thought they kind of laxed up on the pressure a little bit, so I think it just opened the window for us to kind of walk in and get some good opportunities and good chances, and uh, just moving the puck really well, and um, yeah, some really good looks there. Obviously, we didn't capitalize, but um, I mean, I, I think that's the momentum that you want um, you know, when you get those power plays, especially in a game like this when it's tight there, and just try to carry that momentum into the next uh, shift 5-on-5. How are you feeling with the playoffs only two weeks away? Like, are you getting antsy for this thing to get going? Or uh, I think it's always a little, uh, a little antsy this time of year, and especially when you already know who you're playing and, and all that. But we still have a lot to play for, obviously, with uh, trying to gain the home ice advantage and stuff. So um, you know, we definitely want to utilize these last uh, four or five games to you know, just dial in our game and make sure we're focused on all the little details that, uh, that really count, especially come playoff time. This was your game in hand. Was there talk about you know, really taking advantage of this one? You know, uh, yeah, I mean, we want to be ready to play every night, but obviously, uh, you know, we wanted to take control of the game early and uh, and, and try to not look back. So, um, you know, obviously, it's an important two points. These are important points this time of year. So, just want to kind of feed off that and keep going. How, how did you feel in between tonight? Uh, it was good. It was uh, it was nice to get the two points. Um, you know, obviously, every uh, every game's important right now. Is is you move towards the playoffs, so um, you know, I'm just happy we got the win. What goes through your mind when you hear that Matt Murray is down and that you might have some more opportunity here? Um, yeah, you know, I think my my plan for this year was just to be ready whenever I'm called, and um, you know, regardless of what happens, uh, I try my best to stay ready for for opportunity. And you know, obviously for Matt, I hope uh, hope he you know is back as soon as he can be. Do you what? feel like it was a little bit of a goalies battle out there tonight with the? Other guy at the other end playing as well as he did. Yeah, I don't know so much a goalie battle. He he had a lot a lot of work, <laughs> um, but you know it was it was awesome to see a, his first game. Um, and I, I think I've played against him in the American League, so it was cool to to see him play so well. What's the dynamic like when you're facing a goalie and you're the more experienced guy? In the <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was not very often. Um, yeah, you know I. Truthfully, it's the same, you know, regardless of, of who I'm playing. I just, you know, try to focus on, on my game and, and, you know, stay in the moment. We don't really know Matt's status going forward, but we're two weeks away from the playoffs. Like, how do you stay in the moment here knowing like, there's so much unknown, you know, heading into you know, April 17th or 18th, whenever it's going to start? Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think you said it in the question. I think the, the biggest thing is to stay in the moment. Um, you know, I can't, uh, I can't try to predict too, too far down the road. And, you know, my, my goal is to, you know, come here every day and give my best uh, to help this team be successful.
when you think about this, the strong showing you've had when you've been up and also just the momentum you had in the AHL, is mm -hmm. there something that's clicked in your game this year compared to even just last year that you've noticed? Uh, truthfully, I think there's you know a lot of different things. Um, I think having a little bit, sorry, <laughs> a little bit longer of an off season, um, I got to really focus on you know some some technical parts of, of the game, and I think I, I changed some stuff mentally f for myself, and um, you know I, I feel really good in the net and, and comfortable regardless of where I'm playing. So. Is that, is that, how strange is that? Like, has that happened to you before? Or? I can't say that's happened to me before. Um, I wish I could blame it on the skates or something, but nah, I just fell. <laughs> so, <laughs> so <laughs> just uh, yeah, caught caught a rut or something, and <laughs> tried to make a, a save in the midair. Didn't work. So, <laughs> well, was that an easy one to shake off, or you just like kind of laugh it off? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> there's not much I can really linger on. It, it happens. So, <laughs> I'm just happy. Uh, you know, the guys got a couple goals for me. What, what went through your mind there when you lost your stick and went behind the net? You look up and they had the puck. And I don't know if you uh, saw that. <laughs> yeah. Um, kind of for a second, I was like, "How did that happen?" <laughs> 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 I thought we were we were going, so maybe next time we'll be a little little more sure before I go grab the stick. Mitch, uh, the major work for it tonight. What can your team take away from this effort? Yeah, well, I mean, like you said, they made us work for it. Uh, it wasn't easy to get to the inside. Um, you know our. Our third line did a great job tonight of doing that, though, getting inside. Um, a lot of great tips. Um, you know, I thought they played very heavy on the puck down low. And, um, you know, I think a lot of our line said that well, um, not giving up uh, many rush chances. What's going through your mind with Kent Johnson? That was so scary. He steps on you there. Yeah, uh, I mean, obviously, you know, I, he's not mean to do it at all. It's a scary incident there. And, um, yeah, I mean, uh, right away it just felt weird. Didn't know really what uh, what it was. I assumed it was a skate, um, but yeah, obviously when I got back, I just asked uh, our trainers there if there was a cut or anything. Didn't feel like there was a cut, so um, you know, pretty lucky, but definitely a freak uh, little incident there. Do you wear protective mesh at all down there? Now you're looking at it. I mean, uh, this is um, you know, I, I got the cut proof stuff on my wrist, but um, not on my legs or anything down there. So like I said, it, um, you know, maybe I was lucky. It just wasn't a uh, heavy guy and. Uh, you know, it was a bit of a freak play there, but uh, luckily enough, nothing uh, came out of it. What are your thoughts on Joe Wall's season and his ability to maybe step up a little with Matt injured? Yeah, he's done a great job. Every time he's uh, been in this opportunity, he's done a great job for us in that net. Um, he's came up with a lot of big saves for us. And, uh, you know, he's uh, he's been doing that for the Marlies down there too. So um, it's great when he comes up here at the same amount of confidence and the same play. How impressive was the other goalie at the other end making his NHL debut today? Yeah, um, I mean, uh, he made a couple of outstanding saves there for them, and um, you know we want to try to make it a little tougher, I think, uh, there. But uh, I thought we did a pretty good job of getting around him, um, not making easy shots. Um, you know, I think that last power play was a great example of just you know getting pucks around it. Um, you know, if you do that every time, it's eventually going to go in. What have you seen from Zach Gaston Reese the last couple of weeks? It seems like he's you know, stepped up his game. Yeah, I mean, I think um, he's just really embraced that role of. You know, he's done a great job around the net of tipping stuff, um, you know, getting second rebounds or just putting himself in a spot where he can get a puck in a good area. And uh, I think it's just his overall game. He's been a, a, you know, a beast off the puck of just backtracking, getting on people, um, using his body and, and getting leverage off it. What was it like for you to have to miss that game on, on Sunday? Was that a tough sell or were you like, I need this this day? No, I mean, obviously it sucks. You know, you don't want to miss games. You want to try to be out there with your team and help them win. So, um, you know, it's. Sometimes uh, we got people in here that, you know, do all the stats and all the stuff that, you know, they kind of have, uh, I guess that's what they're paid for to, to do and, you know, make sure that, you know, we're trying to look at a bigger picture and, and do the better thing. So, um, you know, you always want to be out there with your team and help them try to win games. So um, it's definitely a tough one to kind of um, get apart with. But like I said, uh, you know, there's, there's bigger things at the end of the day. How does that go? Yeah, um, you know, we had a similar situation the other night against Detroit, you know, playing a team that um, has no playoff hopes. So um, I think kind of when you go into that, it's important that you focus your mindset onto it's, it's not going to be an easy night and a night off. Um, I think if you look at our record against teams that have been out of the playoffs, it's probably not as good as it should be. Um, and everyone was aware of that going into tonight. So, um, you know, it was a good team win and um, everybody pulled their weight. Is it getting hard to find course, motivation just knowing that your, your spot's pretty much locked up but you still have to play these games? No, not really. I think, um, you know, every opportunity we get 
to play. It's a chance to just fine tune our game that much more. Um, so when it comes time to play um, Tampa, you know we're ready to hit the ground running. What do you make when your when your big guns are struggling? But how big is it for you guys to come through with goals in the bottom six? Or it's definitely huge. Um, you know that's that's what um, you know wins teams games in playoffs. Um, you know, having that depth scoring, that bottom six scoring, and um, those guys do it enough every night that, uh, you know, once in a while it's not too bad for us to do it too, you know, so. Have you ever found your tips and stuff in front of the net when you're into practices? Yeah. Did something spark that in particular? Um, maybe, um, I don't know, Ryan O'Reilly coming. He, uh, <laughs> if you watch him at the end of practice, he's always working on small little details and, and habits, offensive habits around the net. and. Uh, um, you know, kind of Curtis, the goalie coach, and um, the goalies have been working on tips as well, um, and Manny. So uh, we have a little group there at the end of practice, and um, it's fun. You know, you work on tipping in, you work on finishing that rebound, um, playing it like it's a game situation. So it's definitely helping. Sean mentioned um, you know, a week or so ago talking about you know, finding a role for you, what, what this expectation was of you post deadline. What's that that you wanted to improve on? Um, I think it's just like effort and consistency. Um, I know they expect me to be physical and finish hits, and it doesn't have to be blowing up guys every night, but it's just being stiff and um, you know aggressive on the puck and um, getting in front of guys, hitting guys. Um, I think I've been doing that well lately, and um, I've been moving my feet and skating, and I think all that stuff is just um, you know tying into the production right now. Joel Wall's given this team another season tonight. He's five pretty decent starts. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think if you look at his stats, they're pretty impressive. I don't have them off the top of my head, but um, they're all high caliber um, goalie stats. So, um, you know, he's been a, a brick wall for us, you know. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> With Austin Reese Lafferty in particular, those guys were great all night long, so it's great to see them get rewarded. And in a game like this, when you just have really good habits and details, Things uh, tend to go your way, so it was really great to see that. Those guys have really been working. What did you think of the Tavares, Marner, and Lander line? I thought they were good. I thought, you know, it's, it's a tricky game, right? We have the puck a lot and, and all of that, but uh, obviously it couldn't get one to fall for them. But you know, I, I thought they were good. I thought we had good flow with all our lines tonight. Do we face a lot of shots with Joe Wall to make up his, his game back up here? Yeah, I thought he was good. You know, he... He fall, falls down and catches an edge there in the first goal, uh, puts himself in a bad, in a tough spot there, of course. But I thought in the second period, you know, there was more action for him, and, and I thought he was, he was really good there. Um, held them off the sheet. At the end of the game, he keeps them at two, and when that's the case, we're going to win a lot. You've had some, sorry, there's been AHL goalies who come in here and, and played well, like the guy in the other net tonight. How big, big picture for Wall to uh, play as well as he did, and maybe. See some more yeah, he should be confident. He's played really, really good for us. You know, I know that last time we, last time we played Columbus in here, I think that's probably one, you know, one of the games that he would want back on that, that he's, you know, that he's played here. So, a little bit of a do-over is a good thing for him. But yeah, he's played well. We got lots of confidence in him. You know, he's obviously he's been a dominant goaltender at the AHL level this season. He's played really well when he's here. Curtis Sanford loves working with him and, and his talent and his work ethic, his athleticism, all these things. There's a lot there. Um, and he just comes in, he's pretty even keel and just goes to work. So it's great. When did you, did you know if or much of anything about Graves? Uh, I knew nothing. Yeah. yeah, so it's, you know, Curtis got to work and obviously we're very, very connected with our. AHL team with the Marlies, and they have a lot of information there. But uh, Curtis dug in what he can. Well, you, whether you know the goalie or not, even when you know the goalies really well, you don't put a whole lot of time in, into it. I mean, you gotta, you, there's a lot of steps before you get to the goalie, and then once you start overthinking, you know, things around the goalie, uh, uh, it's it starts to be at your detriment. So we just wanted to focus on all the things that we could do to get good, get good shots tonight. But we wanted to make it uncomfortable for him, much like we, you do every goalie. You know, lots of pucks there, lots of people in traffic, tips, rebounds, all those kind of things. And I thought we did a pretty good job of that. What are you seeing from Zach Esther? He's the last couple weeks or so. It seems more than a Well, I'd say it's been more than a, been, than a couple weeks. You know, he's... He's been excellent. I would say from the trade deadline, and maybe even just maybe in a week or two before the trade deadline, 
Uh, he's really settled in. Um, he, he's played a lot of time with Camp, and those guys have really had a, some great chemistry. They're talking a lot. They know what their expectation is and what we need from them. Uh, obviously, he's scored some some very you know, some good goals for us, which has got his confidence offensively really going and scoring the right kind of goals for a guy like him. You know, he's not he's not cheating for offense. He's not getting you know odd man rushes or anything like this. He's he's working for it. He's around the net. Uh, whether it's pucks hitting him or he's tipping it or he's, you know, he's finding pucks in the slot. Uh, it's, it's all coming from a really good process of working hard, being above a puck, being physical, all the while giving up almost nothing defensively. So we've, we've really liked that, uh, that pairing, and we've used Achari there, we've used Lafferty there. Obviously, when we've gone 11 and 7, things have moved around a bunch, but... Those guys, you know, with Camp and, and us and Reese, they've been excellent no matter who we've played them with, and Lafferty's fit in really well. I thought that line was terrific tonight. If you have a bottom six when you have guys like Aston and Reese performing as well as they are, does it kind of force the hand of maybe looking at the traditional as opposed to the 11 and 7 when you're kind of making that decision going in in terms of... Well, well it's part of it, but I think we've talked about it before where, you know, when we've... <sighs> For the last few weeks, especially, anytime we've gone 11 forwards, we've gone with a top six and a bottom five. And the five have just kind of moved around. It's given those guys more ice time. And I, and I, I think that's part of it too, right? Like Austin Reese and Camp and these guys, and like they're out there a lot more. They're moving a lot more. And uh, they're doing, like, they're excited by it. They're getting more ice time. So. They're wanting to, to do well for the team and do well for the coach so they can get back out there. So having the 11 and 7, I think, has really helped those guys because, like I said, early on when we did, were doing it, we were trying to get more ice time and, and favorable matchups for the top guys. And we sort of flipped that in the last few weeks where we just we settled on the top two groups. They played together pretty much consistently, except for a game here or there, a circumstance here or there. For the most part, we've tried to just give more ice to the bottom five. And you know, the guys like that, I think, have benefited from it. It's a couple of games so far, but have you noticed any progression development from Nick Abrazinski compared to where he saw last year? Yeah, I have for sure. To me, he looks quicker. Uh, he certainly looks a lot more confident with the puck and assertive. Um, he's just shown in the two games he's played here that if, if he gets the puck in a good spot, he's going to make a play on it. He's confident. He plays with his head up. Um, the play he made, the tail end of the power play the other night against Detroit, that's that's an elite play. Uh, very, very headsy play to set up the yard crock goal. And then here tonight, he, you know, he puts himself in a good spot, you know, to give the puck, be prepared to get it back. It's a good shot off. Uh, it's a good sequence there in terms of Kempf and, and he playing off each other and, and Kerr following it up. So, yeah, I've seen some growth there for sure. I think, and, you know, they've been thrilled with him down with the Marlies. He's been a very consistent player there. So it's it's been nice for us to to get him up here and give him a, the reward of you know getting some games. What did you like about the six on five at the end? It's blocked a couple. And having Austin out there, I'm not sure how often that happens. Yeah, well, that happens quite a bit with Austin. But you know, we we probably would have liked to relieve some pressure there so we can get a line change. But. Um, I like that the guys just stuck with it. The structure is sound. Have to watch it all back, but we've got some blocks. Charlie's, you know, blocked a couple in there, and then there's enough gas in the tank to win a loose puck battle, and then ultimately Austin makes no mistake to ice the game. So that's you know sort of what you're looking for, and you know we've some of those situations haven't gone our way here of late, so it's it's good to you know to have the game end that way. I think it's a challenging game here tonight, right? Like. We have the puck a lot. We're getting lots of shots, getting lots of chances. Yet it's a close, it's a close game, and you still have to be really smart and really disciplined defensively. But I think ultimately this is really kind of a perfect game for us in a lot of ways. That it, it, we had the puck a lot, we're in control of the game. Yet it's still keeping us honest and keeping us, you know, playing with the mindset that's going to be required here the rest of the way.